fighting a war no army can win. We have less than one week to prevent that. But a single bullet... Range me. ...can. In today's video, we will discuss the 10 best sniper movies of all time. Before we get started, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and thank you for watching. Got eyes on your ass, bench pants. Come on, man, talk to me, talk to me, what do you see? Something's not right. At number 10 we have, The Wall, released in 2017, is about two American soldiers, Staff Sergeant Shane Matthews and Sergeant Alan Isaac. Stationed in Iraq, they are assigned to investigate a pipeline construction site where contractors have fallen victim to a sniper. After waiting 22 hours, Matthews is shot by an Iraqi sniper, and Isaac is also wounded while trying to rescue him. One, two, three, four, five. The rifle is an extension of me! One, two, three, five, one, two, three, five. And I strike you down! Isaac takes cover behind an unsteady wall and communicates with the sniper who deceives him by pretending to be an allied soldier. Shooter. <laughs> At number 9 we have, Shooter, released in 2007, is about Bob Lee Swagger, a retired US Marine sniper, who was framed for an assassination attempt on the president. The film showcases Swagger's exceptional sniping skills, his understanding of ballistics, and his survival tactics. It also highlights the bond between a sniper and his spotter. <laughs> and the importance of trust in such relationships, Swagger uses his skills to uncover the truth and bring the real culprits to justice. Snipers. At number 8 we have, Snipers, released in 2022, is about Zhang Taofang, a young army recruit and sharpshooter in the People's Volunteer Army. At age 22, he sets a record during the Korean War by reportedly killing or wounding 214 American soldiers with 435 shots in just 32 days. The film showcases Tao Fang's exceptional marksmanship and the intense battles he faces against the U.S. military elite. It provides a realistic depiction of a sniper's life during wartime. Phone booth. They're in position. Move, move, move. I give the orders here. Look, I'm sure we can work this out. It's do or die time. At number 7 we have, Phone Booth, released in 2002, is about a New York City publicist, Stu Shepard, who becomes a victim of a mysterious sniper. Trapped in a phone booth, Stu is held hostage by the sniper who threatens to kill him if he hangs up. Wrong number, pal. I'm aiming at you right now. Oh my god, you shot him. Look at all of the people, Stu. He's the shooter! The sniper, who has a clear view of the booth, manipulates Stu into a deadly game of confession and redemption. Enemy at the gates never chooses his destiny. Destiny chooses him. At number six we have Enemy at the Gates, released in 2001, is about Vasily Zaitsev, a sharpshooter in the Red Army during the Battle of Stalingrad in 1942. Zaitsev's exceptional skills catch the attention of political officer Danilov, who promotes him as a morale-boosting hero. The film intensifies as it depicts a cat and mouse game between Zaitsev and Major Wynn Connick, a German sniper. Armed only with a rifle, he quickly made the Nazi invader realize that from now on, the only way was back. The plot not only focuses on the strategic aspects of sniping, but also explores the psychological toll it takes on the individuals involved. Battle for Sevastopol. Smile. At number 5 we have, Battle for Sevastopol, released in 2015, is about Lyudmila Pavlichenko, a history student who becomes one of the deadliest snipers in World War II. After enlisting in the Red Army in 1941, 
Her exceptional skills make her stand out. The film revolves around the events of the sieges of Odessa and Sevastopol in 1941-42. It portrays not only the strategic aspects of sniping, but also the emotional toll it takes on individuals. It's important to note that the film is a biographical war film and a joint Russian-Ukrainian production. Sun Chun Sao das Einzige, was ich will, ist Gerechtigkeit. Entfernung, Windrichtung, Windstärke, Temperatur. Hast du alles im Sinn? Achte auf meine Atmung. Wenn du der Top-Shooter werden willst. At number four we have Sun Chun Sao, released in 2009, is about Ming, the top shooter in the Hong Kong police force, and his rivalry with Ching, his former teammate. Ching, an exceptional sniper, was jailed for accidentally killing a hostage and blames Ming and the police for his imprisonment. Upon his release, Ching seeks revenge, leading to a showdown amongst three expert snipers. The film also introduces OJ, a rookie cop who becomes fascinated by Ching's skills. The American. You've got a long list of enemies, Jack. I told them no one gets close to you. They don't. At number three we have, The American, released in 2010, is about Jack, a contract killer and gunsmith, who is constantly on the move. After a job in Sweden ends harshly, he retreats to the Italian countryside. His assignment is specified by a Belgian woman, Mathilde, who wants him to construct a special weapon. Jack seeks out the friendship of a local priest and pursues romance with a local woman, Clara. You have the hands of a craftsman. You are good with machines. I do what I'm good at. However, his past catches up with him, leading to a tense climax. Sniper. <laughs> you don't have any choice about it. Our contact is dead. We're going where they'll never expect us. At number two, we have Sniper, released in 1993, is about Thomas Beckett, a veteran U.S. Marine sniper who has partnered with a rookie sniper, Richard Miller, to take out a politician and a rebel leader in the jungles of Panama. Beckett is notorious for losing his partners on such missions. This time, he's accompanied by Miller, an Olympic shooting champion, but he has no combat experience. Fighting a war no army can win. We have less than one week to prevent that. But a single bullet Arrange me. can. The film explores the strategic and psychological aspects of being a sniper. It's important to note that this film is the first installment in the Sniper film series and was followed by nine direct-to-video sequels. American Sniper. She's carrying something. She's got a grenade. She's got an RKG Russian grenade. She's saying to the kid. At number one, we have American Sniper, released in 2014, is about U.S. Navy SEAL sniper Chris Kyle, portrayed by Bradley Cooper. His pinpoint accuracy saves countless lives on the battlefield, turning him into a legend. However, his tours of duty take a heavy toll on his personal and family life. The film follows Kyle's life, who became the deadliest marksman in U.S. military history, with 255 kills from four tours in the Iraq War. <laughs> Despite his military successes, he struggles to readjust to his family and social life each time he returns home. That's it guys. If you like this video, kindly give it a thumbs up and make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.